This is Will and Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed author, minister, motivational speaker, psalmist, entrepreneur. She does it all. The one and only Patricia J. Williams. Hello, Patricia. It is so nice to finally meet you. Hi, thank you. And it's glad to be, I'm so glad to be here today. Well, listen, Patricia, I could speak with you all day. I already know because you do <laughs> so much. I want to know, well, first and foremost, before I ask any, anything, it, it's, uh, it's evident that in whatever you do, you are doing it with love, light, and in the Lord's name. And I love yes. the thread of that beautiful, unapologetic faith that you have, something that we need now more than ever. In, yes. in spreading your ministry through all of these different mediums, I want to know first and foremost, as an author, okay. how you were called to write and spread the word of the Lord. First of all, everything we do in the name of the Lord shall be done in the excellence of a spirit of excellence. And what made me to answer my call is, I didn't know that I had the writing ability in me. I would just keep a journal of uh, certain things and I would just write them down of uh, my personal life every day. And so I just turned that a uh, journal in, 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 uh, to a book and the Lord spoke to me. He said the uh, things that, uh, you know, I went through. There are other people out there that are going through the same things that uh, you have went through and it is my passion to see people to live a healthy vibrant life not only with God but then by the leading of God and people think that uh you know your life is a uh, boring with God but actually we live the best life ever but then you have to know how to live your uh, best life ever with him. Oh, beautifully said. And yeah. again, I just want to let the audience know, in addition to the amazing, amazing books that you have written, you also have, uh, you know, amazing music out there. Talk to me a little bit about when you released your first CD, It's Not an Ordinary <laughs> Worship. How did that come about for you? How did that calling come about for you? Uh, you know, as little children, we all would get our little hairbrush or something like that, and we would mock songs. Yes. The radio and everything else. And then I didn't even know I just had a gift. And so I was just walking around the room, and then a, a song just uh, just uh, popped up in my head that uh, it is not an ordinary worship. And I was trying to get the music together and everything. And so I wrote it down. And so one day the Lord spoke to me. He said, you got to put this song out. And that is another one of, of my passions. I love to sing because by me singing, just, you know, uplifting my spirits and it just makes me want to do more. So when I did my first CD, I was just in a little room and some men was there with me, helping me. And I didn't realize they had helped me to pull the uh, gift out of me of singing. So once I wrote that first song, I just had more songs just uh, come out, just uh, come out, come out. And I had an uh, amazing time writing that first song, writing that wow. first song. What I love too, Patricia, is that you're a perfect example of a person in an artist who mm -hmm. just, it just took that one little unlocking of the treasure chest within you, giving yourself right. that permission. And then from mm -hmm. that, this overflowing of abundance and goodness and love and light to unapologetically spread the message that you want to spread through your writing your ministry, mm -hmm. your speaking. Talk to me a little bit about your motivational speaking that I'm sure you also are doing when you're doing yeah. your talk show, correct? Correct. Uh, and that's the key word, unlocking the gifts within you. Um, it it uh, had to, uh, really uh, taken someone to uh, come into my life to say, hey, you can do this. You got this 
you know, you can do whatever you are put your mind to. So it just have to come in for it to give you that little a push to, to, hey, you got this. Just write out your uh, vision and just what do you want to do? And then uh, you can do it because, you know, some of us had some bad uh, past and we think we are uh, too old quote unquote old for to do what uh, we have long to do but I always say hey it is never too late to go yeah. after your dream I don't care how old you are what your past said you can't have what uh, people say oh that uh, you would never amount to this you would never amount to that there is always somebody that is going to root you on. They are going to uh, push you to where you have to be. So I always tell people, never too old. Just go after what you want. You can mm -hmm. have it. Amen. You Patricia. can have it. And I think I, I, you're you're absolutely right. And that's something that we need to know yes. now more than ever. We are these past two years. Uh, you know, I've spoken with again over a thousand artists, and something that mm -hmm. comes up time and time again is that we've all been forced to sit still with ourselves. Yes. And reacquaint ourselves with that inner child, that inner right. child that was singing with our hair brushes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when we had the world for years telling us no, or the doubts, yes. or the you can't, yes. but we've been forced yes. to sit with ourselves, ourselves, right. and reacquaint ourselves with that kid who mm -hmm. just wanted to do it. And right. um, I love that you have that ability, Patricia, to unlock that inner yeah. child. And I can already tell, my goodness, when I think about you being a mom and a grandmother, how that must mm -hmm. be through all of your ministry, that must be something that is a North Star for you. Yes, it is. Because I can be able to pour into my grandchildren as well. Because I know back in the day, uh, we didn't have mentors, you know, some of us did not have mentors and with the, uh, you know, with the uh, knowledge we have now, we are, you know, we can be able to uh, pour into our uh, people today, the young people more to let them know, hey, you can have anything you want, you can be anything you want you can do anything you want because I thank God for you know they can see the next woman that is the vice of president so that lets me know hey women you can do that too she did it you know so we got to get past the mindset nothing cannot hold us back we can go for it despite uh -huh. of well, Patricia, you got me teary-eyed this morning. You, are, you have you have a vibration about you and a light about you. you. You are truly a vessel and of goodness. And I'm so excited you're joining this amazing new social media mm -hmm. app where you're going to be able to spread the good word and all of your amazing messages and ministry, Thank people you. all over the world. And also, I'm so excited. Patricia, that we are now connected. God bless you and thank you. Yes, I'm so glad we are connected. Oh, I'm so glad. A divine connection. Amen. Yes, yes divinely. Yes.